Meghan and Harry won't be bowing or curtsying to Queen Consort Camilla, says Insider. According to Royal Insiders, Meghan Markle and Prince Harry have mutual bad blood with Camilla, and are unlikely to be seen bowing or curtsying to the future Queen Consort. Meghan Markle and Prince Harry will not bow or curtsy to Camilla, Duchess of Cornwall following the announcement that she'll become Queen Consort, claim Royal Insiders. On February 6 the Queen backed Camilla to take the Queen Consort title when her husband Prince Charles is crowned King. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex are said to be reeling from the announcement as the pair stayed silent following the news, say Royal Insiders. A source close to Meghan, 40, and Harry, 37, said that they feel even more so detached from Camilla. The source told Heat, there's a feeling of bad blood that goes both ways. I don't think we will see them bowing or curtsying to Camilla or referring to her in regal terms. Despite Prince William and Kate Middleton celebrating the news about Camilla, Harry and Meghan have stayed silent. The Duke is said to have a fraught relationship with his stepmother. Harry is reportedly shedding more light on his tricky relationship with his stepmother in his upcoming memoir, set to be released this year. Days after the Queen made her massive statement honoring Camilla, Harry spoke in praise of his late mother, Princess Diana, but failed to congratulate his stepmother. Appearing in a virtual call to raise awareness of HIV testing, Harry told rugby legend Gareth Thomas he felt an obligation to continue Diana's work and added, I could never fill her shoes. The Duke and Duchess are still apparently planning to return to the UK for the official Platinum Jubilee celebrations at the beginning of June. After moving into their new home in the States, Meghan has not stepped foot back into the UK. It is reported that she may be feeling increasingly uncomfortable about returning as it's been such a long time. A source close to them added, they will no doubt choose to stay silent on the whole matter and pretend it's not bothering them. But it is. Queen must stand up to annoying Harry's line of succession claims, says royal expert. After Harry's latest action against Her Majesty's government the Queen must act, claims Angela Levin. The Queen has faced a challenging month after testing positive for COVID. She's worried royal followers by sharing that she feels frail, and Prince Harry isn't helping matters. The Duke of Sussex, 37, is suing the government over a decision to remove his paid for security while in the UK. In the court case, his representative said, in the absence of such protection, Prince Harry and his family are unable to return to his home. But his claims have riled royal expert Angela Levin. Speaking to LBC, she said, What annoyed me incredibly is he said he was in the immediate line of succession. Does he really think he's got a chance to be king when he's behaved like this? The Queen's got to stand up to it. She added, I think she's got to stop him being the counselor of state and that means when she can't manage or unwell, they become stand-ins. They go to meetings and they sign documents. It's understood that Her Majesty has been made aware of Harry's latest action. And it's thought to be the first time in history that a member of the monarchy has brought a legal case against the Queen's government. Harry's move is another headache for our monarch, who's faced turmoil from her youngest and reportedly favorite son, Prince Andrew. The Duke, 62, is apparently making nightly visits to the Queen after settling his mammoth sexual assault case. Andrew is said to be giving Virginia Jufri a whopping 12 million